I know I've made videos in the past on my monitor, but I still get questions about it pretty frequently. So this is a Samsung CF391 monitor 6 months later. It's sort of an update video. Before we get into the video, we're getting so close to 500 subscribers and I would appreciate it if you guys even considered clicking that red shiny subscribe button down below. It would make me very happy. Thank you. So it's been 6 months since I bought this monitor. And I still think it's a great monitor. There are a couple things that I would do differently when buying my next monitor, however. Let's begin with the size. And in this case, size does matter. So this is a 32 inch curved monitor. 32 inches may seem like nothing but awesome. For casual console gaming, that's the case. Gaming, especially story based game with a headset, are excellent on this monitor. Competitive gaming on a 32 inch is not recommended because your eye will have to be all over the place. 24 inches is recommended for competitive, so gaming is fine. Computer use is somewhat in between, so gaming on a computer might be bad for someone with a small desk, because since you have to sit close to your keyboard and mouse, those tend to be close to the monitor, and the monitor may be too big for that. If you have a bigger desk, that may not be an issue for you. Browsing the web is fine and all, but again, if you sit close to the monitor, then you will see text a bit pixelated, and it will bother you. Since this is only a Full HD display at 32 inches, sitting close to it will be a little pixely. It's not too bad, but it's noticeable. If you move back a bit, you don't see the pixelation. Those are the answers to the questions I get asked the most. Now what would I do differently next time when I look for a monitor? Well I would test the size first. When I saw this monitor, I had the money for it and I bought it. I didn't realize the size would be on the bigger side. It's not too big, but I would rather get a 27 inch now with this experience. I think 27 inches is the best overall size for monitors. Another thing I would change is the resolution. Now, most things are leaning towards 1440p and 4k resolution, so my next monitor will surely be one of those two, but no more full HD. That's one of the reasons for the pixelation and text. Three more things I would reconsider is the refresh rate, response time, and the ports on the back. On a side note, this monitor does not have speakers. For me it's not a big deal because I never use the speakers, but there is a volume toggle and many of you including myself got confused with that. I'm guessing that toggle is to change the volume of the display when earphones are plugged in, since it does have a headphone jack. Anyway, refresh rate. I've never owned anything that's had over a 60Hz refresh rate and everyone says it's a huge change you must make so I'm gonna listen to them and I'm gonna go with a higher refresh rate next time I buy a monitor. Fast response time is mainly a necessity for competitive players playing games like Call of Duty, Halo, H1Z1, CSGO, you get the idea. This monitor now has a 4 millisecond response time on the fast setting, which I normally leave on medium, just cause. I play Call of Duty and H1Z1 from time to time, and I want the most advantages I can get, so I'm gonna go for a 1 millisecond response time next time. And now the ports. This depends on you, of course. I have my PC and my PS4 plugged into this one because it only has one display port and one HDMI port. I wish it had two HDMI ports because I also want to plug in my PS3 which I haven't used in a very long time. It's unplugged because I don't have that extra port and I don't want to be reaching to the back of the display every time I want to play it. In the future, I hope to get an Xbox One X, hopefully, and I will need an additional port. And I don't want to buy any adapters or anything like that. Anyway, I hope this answered many questions you may have had about gaming monitors or this monitor, uh, or just monitors in general. If not, then ask me your questions down in the comment section below, and have a great day.